Today I'm going to be unboxing the Targus 50 inch tripod. Um, I got this at Radio Shack for $15.99 so I'll go ahead and give you a closer look at the box. So here is the 50 inch Targus tripod. When it's extended it does extend to over 4 feet long and when it's folded up it folds into 19 inches so it is portable but it's not too small. And it looks like this does come with a carrying bag for your tripod. Um, down here it just has your basic information again saying that it is 4 feet tall. And of course it's compatible with all your regular digital camcorders, digital cameras, and your flip video. And it looks like the load capacity on here is 2.5 pounds. Nothing on this side. Um, on the back, it just on the side, it just gives you some more pictures. It shows you the three-way fluid pan head so you can move your camera in all different directions smoothly. It has your quick release plate. It does feature a bubble level so you can make sure you're filming level and quick release leg locks. On the back once again it just goes over your basic items on here. And I'll go ahead and get this open. Okay, so the tripod does come in its carrying case, and there's nothing else inside the box. The case does have the name brand on the outside, and the carrying strap, so you can just throw it over your shoulder. Like you said, it does extend, it does fold up to 19 inches, so it's not too big if you need to pick it up and go. You shouldn't have any problems. I'll go ahead and take the tripod out of the bag for you now, so we can take a look at it. comes with your operating instructions and a little card that just has all your features on here. Here is the height of the tripod when it is as small as it goes. It is about 19 inches so it does give you quite a bit of height. Right here on the side it does have the Taurus brand on it also with the model number. We'll go ahead and just take a closer look at the controls up here. Okay, on the top of your tripod you have the camera mount to put your camera on. Right under that you have your bubble level so you can tell if your tripod is level. You can tighten and loosen this. And what this allows you to do is to swivel the head this way to get your angles. And that will adjust your level. You can just tighten that again for when you're filming. Sorry about the shaky camera, I am holding it because I don't have a large tripod right now, which is why I'm unboxing this one. Over here you have another tightening, and when you loosen this one, it allows you to adjust this plate fully, so you get a full degree of motion also on that plate. And then you have one more at the back, which when it is loosened, it gives you the full 360 degree range of motion this way. The last feature you have at the top is the quick release button. For this you just flip this right here and this top plate pops out. So you can leave this attached to your camera at all time that way when you're ready to film or take a picture you can just pop that right in. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But you can just pop that right in and then you don't have to worry about screwing your camera on and off the port all the time. If you have a bigger camera, it probably wouldn't be very noticeable and would be fine. But this is a pretty large plate to keep on at all times. So if you're just using this tripod for a small digital camera or a flip like I'm using, then it's really big so you're not going to want to leave this on your camera all the time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how tall this does get. Um, right under the top lever piece there is a tightening screw right here. 
If you loosen this, you can just pull the top up without extending the legs. And then tighten that and it does give you maybe about 8 inches of extra height without moving the legs. And take that down. And your legs down here do have two separate extenders. So you do have a lot of variety of how high you want it. I will go ahead and extend this all the way and then step back with the camera to give you an idea of how tall it is. And while I'm down here, these do have rubber feet grippers on here. So it is going to give you a little bit of traction while you're filming. So here it is with just one of the two sections of legs extended. It is pretty tall, maybe about two and a half to three feet. Now we'll go ahead and extend it one more section. Here it is with both leg sections extended. So it does give you a lot of height. Um, it's not the tallest tripod out there, but for most of your basic video and picture taking it will work. And of course there is the thing on top which will extend this even more. So there is the tripod at its full height potential which is 50 inches. I now have my flip mounted on my tripod just to show you guys the full range of motion that you can do. It does give you the full 90 degree this way so you can film straight down at a tabletop. It also has a very smooth, when you do it like this, panoramic, so there aren't any bumps or jerks in here. So it's going to be as smooth as your hand can make it. And you also get the filming this way, so you can also go down 90 degrees that way. Overall, I do highly recommend this tripod for what I've used it for so far, just testing it out. I did get it for $15.99 at Radio Shack, so for one of your bigger tripods it is probably about as cheap as you can find in store. So if you're just starting off and don't want to spend too much money, um, this tripod is pretty affordable. It does give you a very large range of motion like I said, and also gives you very nice range of height. So if you want to go anywhere from tabletop shooting to outdoor full length shooting, um, it goes up to the whole 50 inches. So you have a nice range that way. It's very lightweight, so if you're going to be taking it with you, um, you don't have to worry about lugging it around, and it does have the carrying case for you there. Um, so, like I said, I do recommend this tripod if you're looking for a cheaper one. Uh, make sure to subscribe up there if you like what you see. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this tripod, or if you have any tripods that tripods that you've tried out and recommend and of course like the video if you liked it.